about relating a crime scene. So rifle, it's a long barrel weapon. Now we are classifying the rifle weapon and having a rifle bore and it is by placing on the shoulder we can fire and it is high velocity velocity ranging from 2000 to 3000 feet per second and this is a salt rifle then the revolvers they are handguns about a size which cannot be or usually not is it is over 10 inches it has a drum which revolves in the chamber. There may be five or more cartridges which can be placed and one after the other, the bullet comes in front of the firing pin. It is a low velocity, having a speed of 600 to 800 feet per second. So this is a revolver. You can see the drum which has been moved out to show and there are six bullets and this drum revolves in the chamber and the firing pin strikes the bullet coming in front one after the other. Then the pistol, this is again a handgun and size is not greater than 10 inches but again it has a rifled bore. It differs from the revolver because in this, there is a magazine which has been loaded in the uh, handle of the revolver. And it is not the like revolver where the chamber revolves. So it is the magazine which contain, may contain the cartridges from numbering varying to five to 10 in number. And they are loaded in vertical magazine which is usually housed in the grip of the pistol and the spring pushes the bullet one after the other when one is fired the next is pushed up and it comes in the chamber and the firing pin strikes it so it it is an intermediate intermediate velocity weapon about 1200 feet per second and this is the design this is the magazine which has been removed from the grip. Now the smoothboard weapons, they are also called shotguns. The weapons are called smoothboard because their bore is not rifled, it is smooth. And they include shotguns, the muzzle loaders and the muskets and the, now the modern smoothboard weapons. So the gauge for smoothboard weapon, we measure the gauge in different manner. It is commonly said as that how many balls you can make from one pound of lead and each ball fitting the caliber of the barrel, that is the gauge. So they may be small, like the bird shooting or the larger, that from one pound you make nine to 12 pellets and each may be having 0.3 inch diameter, a quite large diameter. So the gauge of the smoothboard weapon is that how many lead balls or pellets you make from one pound of lead and each pellet fitting the barrel. So as the pellet decreases in size, the number increases. This is usually the description. Then there is a specific phenomenon choke, which is the constriction of the muzzle end. So the caliber is constricted at the muzzle end because the pellets are having a different mechanics. They are unstable. So the purpose of choking is that the pellet should travel for longer distance in compact manner so that they can strike the bull or the victim. So the bore of the smoothboard weapon is equal to the number of lead balls you make from 
one pound of lead. The most common is 12 bore, which means the 12, 9 to 12 balls have been made, and that is called 12 bore. So choking. When the smooth board weapon is fired, the pellets disperse soon after their exit from the muzzle. So this dispersion increases with the range. So to overcome this degree of dispersion can be controlled by reduction in the size of the muzzle end. And that is called as choking. So this reduction is very negligible, 0.3 to 0.4 millimeter. So the caliber at the muzzle end will be 0.3 to 0.4 millimeter less than the chamber end. So this is called choking. The purpose it, it gives compactness to the discharge and keep in compact manner for longer distance after being emitted from the muzzle. <clears throat> So with practice, we can say how much the weapon is choked. If we say 50% choked, that means 50% of the pellets striking the red yard circle or at the distance of 40 yards. So this determines the percentage of choking. The choking of smooth board weapon, this is a diagrammatic representation. You can see the chamber end is having 18.8 .8 millimeter and the muzzle end is having 18.4 millimeter and the end is the straight cylindrical portion. So 0.4 millimeter has been reduced at the 